good, oh. good, good, good. Okay, so for problem number seven, we're asked to take a look at um, the limit as x approaches pi over two from the right of cosine x over one minus sine x. So let's take a look at what is, let's take a look at our unit circle. Here we have um, zero two, the the polar co the coordinates zero. Oops, excuse me. I'm gonna draw the unit circle again. We have um, one zero here, zero one here, um, negative one zero, and zero negative one. This is zero pi over two pi, 3 pi over 2. And we're looking at the limit of that function as we're coming at it from there. So, all right, so let's see what's happening. As we're coming towards there, we have cosine and sine, cosine and sine. Cosine is approaching the value of 0. And sine is approaching the value of 1. So that gives us that this is approaching 0 over 0. And that's an indeterminate form, which means we can use a L'Hopital's rule. Um, OK. So that limit is going to equal the limit of the derivatives. x goes to pi over 2 from the left, from the right. Derivative of cosine is negative sine. Derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of sine is cosine. We have negative cosine x. Okay, so what's happening at the derivatives, at, at this? Well, here, we're, we have sine approaching 0 on the top. This is going to 0. Well, excuse me, sine is approaching 1 on the top. And cosine is approaching 0. And 1 over 0 is infinity. That's one way you could have looked at this problem. Um, the other way you could have looked at it is to recognize that um, this is an alternate way to analyze this problem. This is number one. Number two, you could have said, well, the limit as x goes to pi over 2 from the right is negative sine over sine. The negatives cancel out, so you have sine over cosine. Well, sine over cosine is tangent x. And what's happening with tangent x as um, we're approaching pi, pi over 2? Well, the graph of tangent x looks like this. Graph of tangent x looks like here's pi over 2, um, negative pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, and negative 3 pi over 2. Tangent goes off into, tangent goes to infinity as it approaches x to um, uh, pi over 2. And that's because of the cosine on the bottom of the definition of tangent. And then it goes off to negative infinity at the other end. So that's what tangent looks like. And then it repeats like that. So you could have recognized that tangent and said that as um, the tangent function goes to the infinity at positive infinity at pi over 2, and they're not asking for negative infinity, but it does go to negative infinity as, uh, as it approaches negative pi over 2. And um, that's because of our unit circle when it's going, um, yeah. So anyways, enough said. Um, that's what, uh, so you have two alternate ways to think of that problem. Okay. Done.